Um, the first commended poem um, is by Francis Nagel, and it's called Capel Keurig by John Piper. Um, now, many of you may remember we, uh, we had an exhibition, a big exhibition upstairs of John Piper's <coughs> Landscape Watercolours of North Wales. And this came to us between January and April 2013 from the National Museum of Wales. And as you know, Whitworth has always been a place for those who love art about landscape. Um, it's not a coincidence at all that Manchester, as the first industrial city in the world, um, has assembled at the Whitworth and Manchester Art Gallery some of the finest collections of landscape art in the UK outside London. And Frances, in her poem about John Piper, um, evokes the dark and cloud-shadowed mountain forms that loom out of his intensely worked watercolours. She describes Capel Keurig's tiny chapel on a bleak and dismal evening when the whole village is sheltering indoors, very unlike today. She takes us to the heart of thinking about a particular piece of real landscape and how that might be represented in a picture. So if Francis is here, congratulations. There's your... Yeah, yeah. My favourite story about John Piper is, that, I mean, he absolutely loved bad weather. So you wouldn't have caught him in the south of France painting sunlit scenes. And if he did happen to be outside painting and it was nice weather, it wasn't beyond him to go home and put some rain and wind and storm on top of that. And the best bit is that he was asked to do some paintings of Windsor Castle by George VI, and he did them. And George VI didn't say, oh, nice pictures. George VI said, you seem to have very bad luck with your weather, Mr. Piper. <laughs> so this is Capo Coog by John Piper. Can you all hear? Okay. One might come here to die, a dark way station in the lap of giants, pitiless Snowdon and its acolytes. The sun has not, it seems, played here for years. On this dismal evening, nothing stirs. A village is indoors. Not a branch shakes, not a bird calls. Goalposts stand in silence. And Keurig's tiny chapel is shut. We cannot tell if there's anything inside. Piper conjured this. On a blank sheet of paper with ink, watercolour, gouache and chalk, he made it matter. Outside the chapel, a flake of moonlight hints at the shape of the harps they made here once. Thank you. Thank you. 